everybody, welcome back to another episode of Firefighter Friday. Today I have Ben, the man, Bosworth. What's your middle name? Bozzy? Lee. What's your, but what's uh, your nickname? Bozzy. Bozzy. Yeah. Ben Bozzy Bosworth here with uh, BLB Handyman Services. I'm guessing that's his initials, just like DBG Creations. That's right. right. All right. So nice to have you on the show, man. Yeah, thank you. So uh, tell us a little bit about your career within the fire department and where you're at now at the fire department, how long you've been there. You know, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, I started out as a volunteer here in Peachtree City back in 2010. Um, and then I got hired full time two years later. Um, I then transitioned to Union City about two years ago, next month, um, and been up there ever since. Nice. So, how long were you at Peachtree City total? Uh, eight and a half years. Eight and a half. And now you're at Union City. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, what's your rank? Like, what do you mostly do there? Uh, firefighter paramedic. Paramedic. Mm -hmm. Nice. Where'd you go to paramedic school? Uh, Coweta County. Coweta County? Cool. Cool. How you like it so far? Love it. Union City doesn't run private EM, or no, no ambulance. transport, right? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Grady gotcha. does all that. Gotcha. Grady? So yeah. you work hand in hand with Grady? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so where did, you know, your handyman service come out of and how long have you been doing it? Um, been doing it going into our fourth year now. Um, and it came about because I was burnt out from working 48 for nine years. 48. And working full time PG City, pretty much full time Coweta. So you would leave one fire department to go to the other fire department. For those of us that um, are, you know, most of these videos are going to be viewed by clients within Fire Track. So they're going to download the app and then they're going to check out our whole organization. So work at 48 means you're going to go from one fire department to the, to the next fire department. You're going to go 24 hours riding an ambulance or a fire truck. And you're going to clock out there at seven and be at the next one by eight and then you're going to run 24 hours there right and then clock out there you get one day off and then you start it all over again right right all right so you started this because you didn't like that right okay right. so tell us a little bit about um working 48 out of every 72 and what it does to you as far as you know just riding and doing fire and ems the whole time uh, it pretty much breaks you down and um like very little ambition or motivation to do anything more than you're already doing okay. um, kind of depletes a lot of your social life because you only got that one day so you get two and a half days off a week essentially um, and then you know it's like a Tuesday and a Friday or something like that so people are doing stuff like on yeah you're days. not hanging out on Tuesday right, or Friday with right. your friends right so it, 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 it kind of wears on you um, I don't have any children or a wife so I, I couldn't imagine being gone that long from home from them um, and then that relationship somehow stays strong, but um, yeah, it's, it was time to make a change. Time to make a change. So now you work 24 hours and then you go do BLB handyman services, right? Yep. All right, so tell me a little bit about what you do there. And obviously it's therapeutic to you to not have to ride 48 right. out of 72 hours. So right. you're getting out of the fire department, you're doing something totally different, clear in your mind, working with your hands. Right. So what all do you do at, at BLB? Everything. We from changing light bulbs to doing complete teardowns and rebuilds, decks, porches, um, plumbing, and electric, flooring. Okay, so pretty much the complete handyman package. Pretty much. All right, um, so I've got some friends that you did a deck for, uh, but under it's the deck. under deck. So basically, the rain doesn't come through the deck. You, right. you put up this whole apparatus that catches the rain, puts it in a gutter system, and made their entire back deck where you could hang out underneath it. Right. So tell me a little bit more about that and, and other stuff like that that you do. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of starting to catch on around here. Um, and we've done a couple of them so far, but it's essentially, like you said, a rain catching device that makes it like a porch almost covered under decking. So if you didn't want to build a, an encapsulated deck with a porch and all that stuff, it's a little bit cheaper to just throw up some metal or tin up underneath it and then have it slope down to a gutter. Yeah, and I can personally attest for that because I've been hanging out at that at my friend's house when a rainstorm hit and you're staying dry. Right. So other than that, that that space was not really habitable, you know, all the time while you're around. But now they have a TV and everything down right. there. So do you do uh, like screened in porches and decks and stuff like that mostly or? Uh, during the, like starting springtime and summertime, we do a lot of decks and porches and stuff like that. Um, kind of tips off towards winter time and then it just works out where people want to do inside stuff. So we'll go in there and... What all do you do inside of a house? Uh, a lot of sheet rock work, um, remodeling bathrooms, uh, ripping out carpet, laying hardwoods, uh, tile. Um, 
painting, stuff like that. Just, Interior and exterior painting? Yes. Nice, nice. All right, man, anything else you, uh, you want to tell us about your business or anything? It sounds like you got quite the operation going. You got any help? Any other firefighters that help you? Or? Yep. Got uh, two other guys that work with me pretty much full time on it. And then we, you know, got some guys that used to be firefighters that are doing other jobs when they're home. They work with us too. So, okay. Um, typically, they're all firefighters or used to be firefighters. The ones that used to be, I'm guessing, are they on an oil rig or something? They're on like? an oil rig. Oil yeah. rig, yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. That's a pretty common transition from firefighter to go into work uh, on an oil rig as a paramedic. So, yeah. so when they're home, they, they come and help you. Yeah. I've got a couple that pressure wash like that. That yeah. you know, when they're home and they don't have anything to, to do, they come help me pressure wash. Right. And I met them, and they used to be firefighters. So that's awesome, man. Yeah. So you, two other guys, and then additional help as needed. Yeah, and we got I got a group of guys that we can pull from. That nice firemen. They got their own business and stuff that are kind of maybe specialized in something like electric or plumbing or something like that. Okay. Pull them in for the job. Yeah, for the job. Yeah. So if it's a big job that involves you know like maybe putting an addition onto a house like a screen porch or a, a outside living area, you can pull other firefighters in that do electric and do plumbing and do you know, whatever else that right. you need to do. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, man, I've seen some of your work and it's awesome. And I'm going to put a bunch of uh, pictures and videos from your Facebook page on here and uh, show everybody just, you know, how capable you are of doing any kind of handyman project that they need. So basically just download the FireTrack app and uh, look up handyman services and the zip codes that you service are, what what zip codes are they mostly? Uh, Fayette and Coweta County. Fayette and Coweta County. Yeah. Okay, so there's like 10 zip codes within those two. So. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, man. You seem like a busy dude. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Well, thanks for being on the show. And, um, you know, we really we really want to see some more of your work within Firetrack. Everybody find Mr. BLB Handyman Services himself. I uh, think he's got a shirt and everything. And, uh, you know, hire him and look at his work. He's awesome. I can personally attest to that. And thanks so much, man. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. I don't know. Yeah, man. It's a GoPro. Pretty cool. Two, three, four, we're filming. All right, so yeah, we can edit anything out that we want, and then I usually use spots like this for the bloopers. You want to sit over here? Yeah. I'll you want to like you. share a chair? Get out of here. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, you ready? Yeah. You know what I'm going to ask you, right? No. No? Have you seen one of these? I have, but I couldn't hear it. <laughs> Is it Peckett? Yeah. He's coming next. Okay. To redo his. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to make sure. Oh, wait. Sweet, eight minutes. Dude, right on target. That's what McFalls was, too. Really? Yeah, you're stretching and I'm still recording. How do I shut this thing up?